Did you miss me? <gasps> yes. I missed you. Wow. She always blends into these floors. Looky. <gasps> Hi, sister. What's going on? Hi, crazy. Oh, battery's dead. Oh my God. Hi from Anchorage. It is Monday. Craziness. I was supposed to have like a full day of work here today. Obviously. That okay, camera died, but we're here. I'm at my mom's house right now. Up in our little workshop, which I will tell you guys more about later. But I was supposed to have a full work, work day here, but obviously that got messed up due to flight changes. So I've been kind of running around, um, just trying to get some work done really quickly before we have dinner. It's already 3.30 and the sun is setting. So weird. Um, but going to get some work done from here. Going to get some of this work behind me done. And then I think shower because I have been in these clothes for far too long. We stayed at the hotel last night without our bag, so we had to like ask the front desk for toothbrush, toothpaste, all the things. Um, so did that, and yeah, I've got to get out of these clothes. I'm dying. So shower, and then hopefully go to dinner. I think we're gonna try Moose's tooth because you know what else would we be doing? So doing that right now. My sister is almost home. She went to go get some almond milk so that we could do a hot chocolate taste test. I have no idea what she's talking about, but. We're gonna try it. It's not hot chocolate. It's like Tim Tam, something Australian. So we're gonna do a taste test and then yeah, that's kind of it for tonight. But bring you guys around Alaska. Dame is at my dad's house. Um, he was working there. I had to get some work done here. You know, just getting shit done. What are we having? A little European sipping chocolate <laughs> with Tim Tams. Hi, Miss Jeeves. Mama Mug. None for you. None for you. It said three tablespoons, but that low-key sounds like a lot. Look at this fancy apparatus. <laughs> <Where is this? laughs> Perfectly leveled. Wow. Every time. Okay, we'll do like yeah, two. Yeah, it kind of seems like a lot. It does seem like a lot. It says three, but we'll do two. Mm. And then taste test. Still we need a whisk. Ooh. Yeah, probably. Oh, do you have a coffee one? Do I have a coffee one? Oh, a milk milk frother, don't I? Yeah. Oh, where is exactly that? what you need. This is what we're trying, Trader Joe's Sipping Chocolate, and it's called a Chocolate Experience. Yes. Wait a dang minute, where is the milk from? Not hot cocoa, hardly <laughs> chocolate milk, oh no. Oh no. A European style delight, mm-hmm. You guys, where is the milk from? Okay, who would have it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well that's good, probably see you on the later, so. Okay, sounds good. Are you happy? All right, Tim Tams. First, let's try this separately. That's what that looks like. Oh. Okay, shall we? Mm -hmm. No whisk, but. Mm -mm. Yeah, that is good. That is some good hot chaco. Mmm. That is wow. good. Do you think it's more? Does it? It's pretty chocolatey, right? No, I like how it is. Me right too. Now. It's not too. That's good. Like, I could drink a lot of that. Now, the exciting part. Everyone. Sugar, cocoa, natural flavor, and salt. Good. Good Trader Joe's. Yummy Trader. All right, everyone, take your Tim Tam. Okay, this Tim Tams are from Australia. Australian delicacy, if you will. Kind of crazy. Our besties at Eastern Arizona College from Australia showed us this trick. Fun. Okay, what's the difference? Original and one classic, classic dark. dark. But the boys had the dark or this like red package. Okay. So you bite a corner. Okay. Of the Tim Tam, and you bite the other corner, like diagonal. Oh, oh got so. it, got it, got it. Mm -hmm. I was imagining this differently. Oh, this is good. This is really good. So was I when they explained it to me, mm -hmm. and then they showed me. All right, then, take the Tim Tam, put it in your mouth like a straw, tip your cup, and you're going to... I'm just wondering who came up with this. No idea. So then, you just drink your hot chocolate through your chocolatey Tim Tam, and now your Tim Tam is gooey. Ooh. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Did it work? It works. It worked. And then wow. your, go your gooey Tim Tam is the best part of this whole experience. Wow. Is that not the best? Like, look at it. It just falls apart, and it's so good. Oh, oh my God. It's like a 
Wow. Mm hmm Look at that. Mm -hmm. Ush gush. Ooh, it's delicious. Oh my god, it's falling apart. Uh, I'm gonna drop the rest in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Is that not so good? It's like um what is it like? Mm -hmm. It's like when you dip Some... your Oreo mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. milk and it gets like perfect softness. Go. That's what it is. That's I think that's why I like it so much. I'm an Oreo dipper. Is that not good? Oh my god. Isn't that good? I've got chocolate okay, all over my hands. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Wait, people need to get that Trader Joe's dipping chocolate. Isn't that good? Check it. Oh, check it. It says there may be milk, but I and honestly it? think it's like straight cocoa. I think so too. Sugar? It might not be milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Never in my life would I think that would work. Yeah, Australians are genius. I'm telling you. Where'd you get the Tim Tam? World Market. They have like all of the like out of country snacks that you can't buy in the regular grocery. They store. do have so much random stuff right? there. It's so cool. Yeah, I've never been there before. Okay, just got back to my dad's post hot chocolate taste test. Um, got all the stuff done I needed to at my mother's, and now we're back at my dad's. We are, I'll show you where we're staying. This little lofty area. Come up the stairs, and has like its own little living space. TV, our Apple TV that we left here. <laughs> Gorgeous windows, best thing about this house. Can't see much now, but I'll show you in the morning. But up here, this is the length mirror that I requested because <laughs> there wasn't one. Still in my clothes, by the way. Still in my airport clothes. Gonna go shower now. But suitcases down the hall, bathroom is there. And then my little sister's room that we stay in. I love it. This bed is so comfy. It's very small, but it's so comfy. But it's where we'll be for the next week or so. She also has like the best closet ever. So much space. So many good drawers. But anyways, I'm going to unpack my bag really quick and then hop in the shower and get ready for the moose tooth. I think we're going to go around six or so. So yeah, I'm going to get ready. And bundle up because it is so this lighting is out of control it is so freezing three degrees three degrees like thank god it's pretty because it ain't warm almost ready that shower was like the best feeling of my life getting out of those <sighs> plain clothes oh my god Doing my hair, doing like a little fake blowout situation. I've been doing like I wrap, like I go under, I just hold it straight, and I go under, and then I go the other way. And it just kind of like goes back and forth, little like soft blown out ends, fake blown out ends. So, been into that lately. Instead of the whole like curls, I'm just not like loving my curling iron for the kind of curl that I want. I guess I don't even know what kind of curl I want, but I don't know. My hair is just like not doing it for me lately. So I'm trying this and I've actually been pretty into it lately. So sticking with it for now. I just tried the Rare Beauty Blush again. Let's see if I can find it. I got this little uh, peachy color. I love the color. Whoa, that's curly. I love the color of it, but I didn't know that it was so potent, pigmented, and intense. So I, my face, like, I looked like a tangerine orange. I looked like a little kiwi. If you have it or you're trying it, use literally the tiniest dot in the world. I also, I don't know how you would ever run out of that thing ever. That bottle is so huge for the amount that you use every day. It's crazy. I really like the color though. I think the color is called Joy. Pretty peachy. Hair does so good in Alaska and so bad in Texas. I cannot stand my hair in Texas. It never works for me. Maybe just because I lived here forever that I learned how to do it, but it always works so much better here. 
done. Next one little piece. We'll check the back. It's like five minutes till I'm supposed to go. We are going to Moose's Tooth tonight. If anyone doesn't know, that's like super famous pizza spot here in Alaska. Um, Dame and I, when we lived here, were very much regulars. We used to just go for like a beer and a salad. It's very just like comfy, cozy, like, I don't know, comfy, cozy vibes. It's nothing like crazy. It's just good, consistent, you know what you're getting. It's very homey to me. So it's always like the first stop on our list when we come back. So we're doing that tonight. I invited the fam. I know my mom and my sister are coming. Uh, my dad is still working on a job. So see what time he's done. I should give him a call right now actually. My brother is still out of town working. He gets back on the 23rd. Okay. Babe, are you ready? Okay. Let's see what we want to wear. Okay. This is the fit. Wearing, obviously, my favorite Topshop white cozy sweater. The warmest thing I have here. And then this ultra fuzzy. Where is this from? I think it's free people. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now I'm sweating. Cozy, cozy. I actually bought this for my brother's wedding to wear because it was outdoors and we all needed something super cozy. So, love this though. And it was really not super expensive at all. Cozied up. Got my new bag. I'm still in love with it. I just broke the shit out of my nail. Ow. Um, and then I'm wearing my denim cargos from Zara. Probably just gonna throw my sneakers on and we are out the door. Dame is wrapping up work and yeah, I'm getting hungry. Ready to roll. Off to get some pizza. Okay, let's try this again. Ready. A little chilly. Connect. Okay. Bluetooth. <laughs> One degree. Bluetooth pairing. <laughs> This is the dinner menu for Christmas Eve so okay. far. Okay, what do we got? Okay, so we have baked brie appetizers, mussels, fries, baguettes, steak. I assume that's like steak bites. Steak with peppercorn sauce. Fresh salad by Pam. Ooh, nice. And then drinks and chocolate silk pie. So what could we offer to bring as like a supplemental? Sides. Supplemental sides? Yeah. Like, should we bring? Or even like, I don't know, shrimp, you don't like shrimplers. Uh, we could put chicken on the shrimp skewers. Skewers? Mm -hmm. Chicken skewer for Lars. Skewer wouldn't be bad. Okay. Can she does scalloped potatoes? Um, oh, we wow. We gotta ask for that. Can we do scalloped potatoes? Those are good. I think they're on her list. Sounds pretty good. good. Are they on? Oh, potato gratin. Dinner for Christmas Day. Yeah. Okay. Should I bring mac and cheese one day? Lars, would you eat that? Yeah. Mm. What's your dream dish to add to dinner? What's your dream dinner? I don't even know what my Please don't say is. chicken. I've tried to answer this. My, I love chicken and sweet potatoes and broccoli. That is like literally my taste. Assign a priority level between one and seven. One is the highest priority. <laughs> one. <laughs> Larson's iPhone. Set to priority <laughs> one. Is this correct? Pairing complete. Woohoo! Woo! <gasps> Look where we are. I'm so excited to eat, but I'm ready to get inside. Are you cold? Yes. It's one degree. Magical. Up. Magical. It's one degree. Thanks. Yeah. Nice. Oh, come see the fireplace. Oh, Good girl. Come on. Come on, I have to get out of the way. Thank you. Uh, I think it's 
good, but it's like... It's a pilsner. Sour. Taste test. So good. It's like a, it said it's like it has sour notes, so I thought it was gonna be like not as heavy, but yeah, it's not bad. It's just not my forte. So I'm gonna chug it. <laughs> Yum. I feel like we always read the specials and then we just like have our go-to that we get the same thing every time. We do always try the new beers though. Dame tried a new one today. I got the Rock Paper Citrus, which is an APA. And it's just like my good go-to, but I always try the new first taps that they have. There were some good IPAs today, but I'm not really feeling it. I'm not feeling mine. I read the description and I felt like I had to order like very quickly and all I saw was like the Okay. So I, like, oh. I will say I was very proud of you for ordering quickly. Like I really appreciated that. For ordering what? Quickly. Oh yeah. I usually, you know, you take a minute sometimes. But you were like, no, I want this today. So, I like that. But now you know, you don't like it, and you move on, get a new one. I know, I'm like, should I order a new one or should I try and finish this? Just order a new one now, finish it while you're waiting. I don't know, what do you want? Larson's favorite is Rockefeller. What? Which has garlic on it. Yum. Oh, that was just about if I could fit in the garage or not. <laughs> I didn't know. What are we getting? getting salad? Definitely getting a salad. Our favorite is the Caesar. Always. And the um. The honey ginger is not it? bad. Oh no, wait. The sesame soy is not bad. Sesame soy. Yeah. Is that what I like? Oh yeah, it has like mandarin oranges on it. Mm, so good. I was telling them earlier. Are you trying to be like veggie or are you trying to like... I kind of want to get whatever like sounds good. I don't know. I do think we're going to have to come back one day though and get bread sticks. There's these things called Diablo sticks here. They're like spicy, cheesy, yummy bread sticks. So I'm going to have to come back and get those. But I don't want those right now. I want like a good pizza and then a good salad. I'm feeling... Actually, I'll show, let me show them my favorite. My favorite usually are... The spicy Thai chicken, if I want like meat on my pizza, or the amazing apricot. Apricot's super good. And then always we get this one if we're doing like a veggie pizza. We like the forager for veggie, it's super good. They have cauliflower crust that we really like. So yeah. And they also have vegan cheese. Are you getting vegan cheese or regular? <laughs> vegan cheese is not that good. I could do vegan other things, but vegan like shredded mozzarella is not my favorite. <laughs> She gets a swinging it's bed. Hanging. Yeah, I know. Are you joking? That's a swing. Hold on. Wait, what's with the palm tree? Oh, it's a it's a literally it's a swinging. It says gently rock to sleep in the fun hanging bed in this tropical. You're gonna come in there and I just rock. Does here? We got. What do we get? Apricot. Amazing apricot. We got a cauliflower crust, double cut, size of an amazing ranch. Everyone kind of got their own pizzas tonight. Let me tell them what the apricots are. There's black and chicken, red peppers, carrots, green onions, cilantro, mozzarella, provolone, cream cheese, and apricots. Wow, a lot of dairy. Honestly, this one looks so good though. Cream cheese, delicious. Yeah, the best part about cream cheese. And legit close. Might be time for another brewski though. Hear me. We were chasing. See my breath? My lips have never been more chapped. My nails are breaking. My face is so dry. Everything is Everything's so dry. It's two degrees. Nah. I need the fleece lined leggings to go under the jeans. Yes, definitely. Home in 
my pajamas in my fuzzy coat. So cold. I think I might like literally sleep in socks. Freezing. I'm like chilled to the bone. I literally thought I was cold in Virginia. Um, yeah, I'll take that back. In like 10 degrees I could do, but two, one, three, no. Not for me. So I'll be sleeping in this. I am going to bed. I need some rest. I can't even like think straight. I was trying to think of all the things I have to do and I just can't even go there. Have a better day tomorrow. Happy Vlogmas Day 20. Oh my goodness. Crazy.